What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to set up your RSM two-way passive stage four monitors. This is the perfect speaker for musicians, performers, or public speakers who might wanna hear themselves or their music while on stage. Now these speakers come in both 12 inch and 15 inch versions, but the setup for both monitors is the exact same. Now these monitors come with a handle on each side that makes it easy to bring to any gig or event. And there's also a 35 millimeter socket on the bottom of the monitor in case we wanted to set it up on a speaker stand. Now each monitor comes with both a speak on input and output and a quarter inch input and output. So now let me show you how we would set it up for a live setting. All right, so typically we would have our monitors set up with a powered mixer and two main speakers. So ideally you wanna have the monitors facing the performer or musician. However, we have them facing the camera so you guys can hear how the monitors sound. Now because these monitors run at eight ohms, we'll wanna be sure that the speakers we're using run at eight ohms as well for a final Final impedance of 4 ohms, otherwise we risk ruining our equipment. So to connect all of our speakers together with the mixer, I'm going to need speak on cables. I'm going to start by taking two ends and plugging them into the speak on outputs on the back of the mixer. Then we'll take the other ends and plug them into the speak on inputs on the back of our speakers. So next we'll want to connect our speakers to the stage floor monitors. We'll do that by taking two more speak on cables. Take one end and plug that into the speak on output on the back of the speakers. Then we'll take the other ends and plug them into the speak on inputs on our monitors. We know which connections are inputs or outputs by following this picture guide here. And you also have the option to daisy chain one monitor to another. To do this, you'll want to take another speak on cable, plug one end into the speak on output on the already connected monitor, then take the other end and plug that into the speak on input on the next monitor. So now to test our setup, I'm going to plug in a microphone into a channel on our mixer. Today I'll use channel one. So then I'm gonna wanna raise the gain on my mic channel and then the volume fader on that channel as well. Then to hear everything coming out of our speakers, I'm gonna wanna raise the main left and right faders here. So now if I go ahead and turn on my microphone, you should be able to hear me coming out of all of the speakers. So again, this is a great setup for live performances or band rehearsals so that the musicians or performers are able to hear themselves better while on stage. Now you can also use the quarter wrench connections on the monitors to run your signal through, but remember you can't use a speak on connection and a quarter wrench connection at the same time. Now if I wanted to use the same exact setup with a passive mixer and amplifier, then I totally could. So let me show you how to set that up next. All right, so here I have a very similar setup except with a passive mixer and an amp to power my speakers. So first I'm gonna to wanna to connect my mixer to the amplifier with two XLR cables. I'm gonna take the female ends of both cables and plug them into the main left and right outputs on my mixer. Then I'm gonna take the other ends and plug them into the XLR inputs on my amp. So now I'm gonna to wanna to connect my main speakers to the amplifier so that sound will come from the mixer. Just like before, I'm gonna take two speak on cables and plug two ends into the speak on outputs on my amp. Then we're gonna take the other ends and plug them into the speak on inputs on the back of the speakers. Then we'll take another pair of speak on cables and plug two ends into the speak on outputs on our speakers. Then we'll take the other ends and plug them into the speak on inputs on our monitors. So now we can go ahead and turn on our mixer, then we can turn on our amp. Now for this setup, I'm gonna connect my phone into a channel on our mixer to hear everything back. So next I wanna raise the gain knob and the volume knob on our channel. Then we'll wanna raise the main left and right faders on our mixer. And then we'll wanna raise the volume knobs on our amp so we can hear everything through the speakers and monitors. So now that everything's connected, powered, and ready to go, let's hear how the whole setup sounds. showed you guys how easy it is to set up your RSM two-way passive stage floor monitors. However, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, guys, I'm Perry from Rockville, and I'll see you next time.